So in this video, I will talk about an item that a lot of people got upset with with Warlords of New York because they got changed. And with that change, a lot of people said that they are super trash now and the worst item in the game and they are not worth using. I would say the opposite though. They are, in my opinion, the best non-damage gloves in the game. And in this video, I will tell you why. If that sounds interesting, then let's get into the video. So the gloves I'm talking about are the exotic BTSU gloves, which are actually really powerful with the change. So what do they do now? Detonating a hive refreshes all ally skills, cooldown, and grants them overcharge for 15 seconds. Allies receiving this effect are unable to benefit from it again for 2 minutes. So it's basically a 2 minute cooldown for overcharge for your full team. It's pretty similar to the backpack I guess, because this will also grant overcharge, but it's only to yourself and you have to toss a grenade. So definitely when it comes to this backpack and the gloves, like for just pure overcharge if you are in a group, the gloves are the way to go. The backpack does have some use though and I actually got this one today in the legendary. So I think I'll make a little video talking about this exotic bag though. But let's go back to the exotic gloves for now. So how do you actually get the BTSU gloves? So, so it drops some black tusks which is pretty obvious so anything that's invaded would have a chance to drop it. So basically any mission that you could put on invaded and then you could also do bounties that have black tusks and i think the one i've gotten these most from is to do camp white oak really good mission for that like also keep in mind that to get them the fastest you want to have the target loot being gloves so if you see camp white oak with gloves then go and farm it and same with the other invaded missions if they have the glove go and farm that mission because that will have a really high chance to drop so as I was reading here, it works with a hive. So we gotta put on just a restore hive that's usually what the healers use. I think a riot form, it's a really good way to show it. Just the difference. We can check through the other skills as well. But it's good. But this is the normal range for a foam. If we would overcharge, so we put down the hive. We hold the, the skill. And bam, our full team would get overcharged. And yeah, you get way bigger radius. I don't know. I think it's bugged now. Let's try to put it out again. Oh, there you go. There, there you see the radius. So pretty damn huge in difference compared to the other one. So why is this one so good though? Like especially for heroic, having CC is pretty damn crucial to make it way easier. And this one gives everybody in your team overcharge. So even your DPS players will have the skill overcharged. Which means you can get extremely strong skills for every two minutes to your full group. So, for example, what we've been using a lot is to use the, the Pulse, the Banshee Pulse that I talked about yesterday. And the overcharge is pretty crazy. 150% increase in cone size, 100% longer confuse duration, and you shard it up faster. Compare that to having tier 0, which all the DPS players are going to have. It's a big change, right? So, like, having that increased is pretty insane. So, we have Scanner, which adds a... Basically a spotter on the pole, so 15% multiplicative damage to targets. Which is pretty, pretty crazy. I think other ones that are worth noting that are pretty insane with overcharge is a Shock Trap. Like the radius is pretty crazy already, but with overcharge you get 70% bigger shock radius. You also get 200% shock duration, which is pretty crazy. So 5.5 turns into what? 15.5 seconds, I think. I do the math correctly, something like that. So those are really good. I'm gonna see... Okay, I can pop it again. Let's swap a skill here so we can show... For example... We can show you guys the trap. So this is the normal range, which is huge. <clears throat> but if we actually proc this, it's gonna be even crazier. <laughs> like, look at this, look at this. You guys see that? It's really hard to show, but you see how much it's covering. Like, it's actually insane. Like, do you actually see that? And that's a 200% shock duration, duration. So you probably CC them for 15 seconds. So if you're doing legendary and you have a tight room, like around this size, you can proc have one player proc that one and just toss it. And they CC it for like 15 seconds. Just with the overcharge. So pretty damn strong. But other skills that are pretty nice too is like Blinder Firefly for CC. So then it have 10 targets more. And yeah, that's pretty crazy. Like you have 
so many more targets. Other than that, I think like that's usually what we've been using. But for example, if you take the fire starter, that's pretty crazy too, if we can show it. But uh, like definitely with the pulse here, it's crazy how strong that one is. The trap is definitely pretty strong too. And I guess worth noting as well with overcharge on the shield, it gives you yeah invulnerability, right? For the overcharge. So 15 seconds where your shield doesn't take any damage at all. So that's worth to note as well. Pretty good for your tank player to just like don't really care about anything. So let's equip uh, the fire starter. We aim it normally. Not that big, right? If we can, we can fire one there. Close that one down. That was not the position I wanted. That's fine though. We explode it. And we can see the di difference here. We get overcharged. And I mean, look at the difference. You see the difference? You see the difference, right? That's pretty crazy. How much it does. And of course, it's not only the radius, but that's easy to see. But you see how much you can see seeing a room with that. And duration as well will go up. But yeah, so the normal duration is 4.4 for the burn. And the cloud would stay up for 20. So if we look at the overcharge, the radius turns into 135 radius, which was huge. The burn duration it gets to 100% and 60% burn damage. So I guess it's not that big of a difference with the, this one, except... Sure, you get 40% more duration compared to 6 and the radius. But if you compare that to having tier 0, then I mean, then you get this. So it's huge to have this for your team. So I would definitely recommend if you're doing legendaries to have one healer that uses the BTSU gloves. But really good gloves. I just wanted to cover it really quick here. I don't play healer myself, but I thought it's like such an important piece to use when you're doing legendaries or heroics to make it easier. So yeah, there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah, see you guys in the next one. And you can uh, get ready for soon. CC. Yeah. They're coming now. Or charge. Overshot bugged again. Hmm, so that's the thing, huh? Yeah, I think it's with the Firefly one year like activating it too fast afterwards. Let's spawn to the left. Station guy is super deep. And I can't aim. Hey, bro. I have a hive. I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. Oh, fuck. Sleepy, that too. I will go for Sleepy after the MP. I'm waiting for it to happen. There it is. I was doing it. Alright, start boss TPS. If at all possible, try to get him to the middle. Nice. That didn't cancel it. AMP. He's still doing it, dude. I think only Banshee Pulse cancelled it. If even that was Banshee Pulse. Banshee yeah, that's what I did. Then, I guess. Maybe like, Blind does it. Random. I need to get out of this corner. Did you uh, try like with like Blind me. if you can. I was overcharge. The Blind is like super slow. You have to like target it first. Yeah, okay. okay, he got spot out. Overcharge. So, like, big damage on him. There's a shitty position though. 
Maybe turn around to me, eh, big boy? EMP. Uh, he's doing it. Oh, yeah, that, that's the shitty position. <laughs> Well, that's better for me, dude. Now I can finally hit. I was hitting the whole time. Yeah, now I can't as well. Okay. Like here, definitely, it's better to have. <clears throat> like, I think the only good thing with Versatile is uh, Backpack Gun, I think. Got the backpack. Backpack Gun, yeah. Yeah, Backpack Gun. It's only good for the rifle, really. Yeah, it's 100% for the rifle. The other thing is only like 10% and only at really weird ranges in the middle. I'm moving back. I have gun. It wouldn't make sense for the exotic to drop because I picked Pega so much this round, dude. The whole fucking round. No reward for this. <clears throat> what do you mean, no reward? You'll get a rank.